I'm going to expose Islam and Muslim religion for a moment. You see, the big division of Christian and Muslim is, there's a lot of different divisions, but Muslims believe God is one, and they believe Christians are blaspheming because we believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But at the same time, Christians do believe God is one, but we believe there's three persons of the Trinity. And this is not a contradiction. This is a supernatural reality in the Godhead. So Muslims believe God is one. Christians believe God is three persons, one God. And here's the difference. Christians believe in a God that revealed himself to mankind through Jesus Christ. You see, we can't really be in a relationship fully with a God who didn't become like us, with a God who didn't put on human flesh. We couldn't actually be forgiven of our sins unless there was someone who was our mediator, a man, Christ Jesus, who is our high priest, who's able to sympathize with us in our weakness. Because he, a high priest in the Old Testament was someone who would go on behalf of the people. He was a human, and he would mediate between man and God. And that's who Jesus was. He put on flesh so he became like us and so when he died on the cross because he was perfect he mediated our relationship with to God and he brought us to the father John 14 6 says Jesus says I'm the way the truth and the life and no one comes to the father but through me except through me Jesus is the is the bridge that brings the gap between us and the father us and God together now this is so important to understand because the Muslim religion they, they don't have a God their God is, is high and, and untouchable, who they call Allah, but he, he, he didn't come down to be on our level. He didn't reveal himself to us, so they can't really have this real relationship with this God. It's more of a fear-based religion, but we as Christians, we have a friendship with the Holy God because Jesus manifested God to us.